Okay, so yeah, and we have also the social factors affecting the cultural foods. And they, of course, the economic factors that affect the cultural foods and the psychological factors, the health concerns. And, uh, and now we are now moving to the food waste of Northern China. So what we are about to discuss is the Chinese, in, uh, Chinese food in China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. So yun yung napili natin in the Northern China. Ah, siya nga, in the Northern China. So our objective for today is at the end of this lesson, you will be able to know the history, geography, the climate, the cooking terminology of the countries, and uh, define the concepts of the food practices, understand the social factors that affects the food waste and the culinary practices in the Northern China. So those are the objectives that we have to meet for today. And now is... Uh, after discussing uh, this, um, our lesson, um, I'll be assigning you, and I hope that each one of you has been decided who will be your partners for the next meeting or the next next meeting for the reporting, because I'm giving you a, uh, a time for you to do the uh, presentation and and to, to do the research, Anna. So uh, I'll giving you, I want, a one week preparation for that and all of you need to present all of you need to present or i mean not to present but to submit it me on the next meeting but we are not going to to have an online class on the next saturday what what is the date um november 7 because i'm allowing you i'm giving you a time for uh, do the research and the presentation okay and Thank you. yeah it welcome and on that day uh, uh i mean before wait um i'll just check the date on so our next meeting is on november november 14 our online class but on november 7 uh you need to do your homework or assigned or task and uh, so and on or before november 13th dapat po submitted na yung mga presentations ninyo and uh, so lahat po kayo ay mag uh, sa submit on november uh, 13 and then proceed tayo on the next following november 21 28 so dere diretso na tayo so hindi kayo mahahasel so so I hope that is clear ano wala sa nang magsasubmit ng uh, late na late okay so lahat kayo ay magsasubmit on November uh, ano ba yan? November for at uh, thirteen yan okay so uh, the first group so si President na lang si Lori uh, magbubunutan Kumbaga, magbubunutan kayo kahit ver uh, sa online na lang. Uh, kusino yung mga, magsabi kayo kusino yung partners nyo kay Lori. Tapos, uh, Lori will, um, ano to, do the, the assigning. O kaya siya yung magbubunot para kusino yung mauuna o yung kusino yung first group na mag uh, re-report or mag uh, pre -present. Okay. Sana ay malinaw. And uh, may tanong ba tayo doon? Guys, pwede pong magtanong para maklear natin before I proceed to the, the presentation or the discussion. Kasi yung, yung atin pong, yung pattern na gagawin nyo ay yung ganito na, yung ipre-present ko today. Ano? So, yan. Pwede pong magtanong muna before I proceed to the uh, lesson. Klaro po ba? Ma'am, ay di bali apat po sa ano, magkakagro po. Ano po? Tapos yeah. po, mm -hmm. dito rin po namin makikita yung mga ire-report po namin. Again? Sa module po. Oh, dito, oh, po uh, dito rin po. Parang uh, some of you will make a research. Pa may ginawa, mayroon, hanggang saan ba yung module? Anong bansa? 
Ano lang po, wait lang po. Eh. Okay, sige. Ano yung kahulihan? Jump ka na doon sa pinakahuli. May ano pa. Kasi parang hindi Ay, yan. Ma? Parang hindi yan kompleto eh. Kasi uh -huh. kayo na yung magagawa or magre-research ng ano. And uh, pwede nyo akong tanungin pag gusto nyo yung uh, meron akong mga books dito. Pwede ko naman sa inyong uh, uh, ipahiram. O kaya... Pwede kong picturean isasend ko sa inyo. As your reference lang. And then you also make research para mas, uh, syempre, hindi lang isa yung references na kukunan ninyo. Okay? Ma'am, hindi. Mm, ano yan, Lori? Eh, na, ano ko pa po, ma'am. Ano po, yung mga... Indian cuisine Yes, Pauline. What is that? Hanggang Indian cuisine po. Tapos may mga recipe mm. sa likod. Ah, okay. Sige, iti-check ko pala ulit. Kasi yung ginawa ko kasing slide ay para ngayon. Pero pag kailangan yung dagdagin yan, halimbawa medyo konti lang yung uh, nasa module, pwede po kayong mag-add. Mag-add kayo kasi kukonti lang yata. Yan ano, parang kukonti lang. O, oh, naalala ko na. Kukonti lang yan. Hindi siya ganun kakompleto. So kapag uh, alam nyo may mga importante na kailangan yung idagdag, syempre, Pwede kayong magdagdag. Wala naman doon problema. And at the end of your presentation, you always, and you need to to put the references. Kung ano yung pinagkunan nyo. Ano? So at least malalaman natin uh, kung uh, yung mga references nyo, makikita natin na uh, ito pala yung pinagkunan. Ano? So yan, may questions pa ba? Lori, na, na, nasagot ko ba yung tanong? Uh Apo, ma'am. Ay, ma'am, yun po palang ano, kami rin po ang mamimili kung anong bansa po ang gusto namin i-report. Yes, oo, nasa ano inyo yun. Kung anong gusto nyo. Hindi Apo. ko na kayo i-assign doon. Tsaka kayo Sige. malalaki na, matatanda na kayo. <laughs> Apo, magtatalang na lang din po ako sa mga kalase namin para hindi po magdoble. Oo, oo, oo. Basta okay. collaborate kayo. Meron namang GC, pwede kayo mag-communicate. Ano? Apo, ma'am. Salamat uh, pag po. May mga, okay. Pag may mga tanong kayo, eh di pwede nyo naman akong i-chat. Ayun. Uh, babasahin ko naman agad. Pag hindi ko, halimbawa, nasisin. Mangulit lang, mag-wave lang na mag-wave. Ma'am, pasin po. Ayan. Para makita ko. Okay. So, yan. Anyway, so, kung wala na pong katanungan, we will now just move to our lesson na. So, uh, since our discussion or our topic, I mean, is the food waste of Northern China, so let us now first discuss the China. Ano? So, kilalang-kilala natin, bakit ba nauna, nauna sa aking ano, ang China? Ano? So, according kasi dito sa, sa book, So, kumbaga ay, ito ang nauna. So, the China, so the prehistoric people inha inhabited northern China more than 25,000 years ago. And a written records document Chinese history from as early as the middle 1700s before Christ. And having existed for more than 3,500 years. Historians claim that the world, all this living civilization comes from China. So that is according to the historians, ano? the oldest living civilization. And proven by the discovery or ornate eating and drinking vessels dating from 2,500 years ago, the archaeologists know that formalized culinary practices took place at the time. And throughout history and into the present, present time, the China has exhibited the high culinary awareness and the culinary traits found in this country strongly reflects its culture. So, yeah. And the tenets of Chinese philosophy affected the food and cuisine as early as 1100 BC. Foods were identified with two cosmic concepts. So, ito yung yin yang and the five elements of it. And then that today, these two philosophies continue to influence the choice of foods that are combined to make uh, both an individual dish and an entire meal. The Chinese believe that proper food combinations 
are important to achieve balance and the harmony in the body and spirit. So, kung nakita natin yung yin yang, the last meeting that we have been discussed, makikita natin doon yung balance and harmony. Diba? So, yun. And the yin, sabi nga, the yin represents the feminine, dark and cool. Yung yin, ano, yung dark, yung itim. And while the young, so that is stands for the masculine, light, and the hot. That's why they uh, they they says it represents. I mean the ba the balance of ito nga, the balance of harmony and the body and spirit. And the proper union of yin and yang elements creates the harmony and balance. And the five elements are so. Ito yung five elements. So the water, the food, the fire, the earth, and metal. So that. That is the five elements. And the water represents the salt. The wood represents the sour. And the fire represents the bitter. And the earth represents the sweet. And the metal represents spicy or pungent. So yung mga bitter dyan. So eh, yun pala, yun ano. Pag bitter pala, fire. Ano? Kasi nga, galit ka eh, bitter. So kaya pala, fire. Yan. Ano? So, pag salt, water naman. Pag food, sour. Uh, I mean, the wood, it's sour. Yan. And the earth, sweet. Oh. And the metal is spicy. Yan. And every food is a sign and element. And the goal is the proper combination of foods to reach balance within each dish and the entire meal. So, yun pala ang meron sa China. Ano? So, very simple la ang yung aking uh, nakuha doon. So, kung kayo naman ay may mga additional pangkailangan malaman ng, ng, ating mga, ng, ng ating mga viewers and ating listeners, so you need to add some. Ano? And uh, ito naman yung mga ingredients and foods commonly used throughout the cuisine of China. So, ito yung kalimitan talaga na meron na meron ang China. Ano? So, meron rice, the wheat, the peanuts. Ayan. As, as in the uh, vegetables, they have the cabbages, the greens, the bok choy, or we call it the pet chai. Ano? Bok choy or pet chai. And they have the carrots and the sweet potatoes, the water chestnuts, the bamboo shoots and the bamboo sprouts, mushroom and punjai. But be careful for choosing the mushroom because there are many poisonous mushrooms. And, uh, so be careful with that. So kung, kung kayo ay not very much sure with, with certain mushroom, so take a, a, an advice from the expert or kaya ay pwede kayong mag-Google. So ang dami naman uh, pwede mong uh, kumbaga search the different kinds of mushroom or pwede mong Uh, itype lang, identify the poisonous mushrooms. Ano? So, para aware tayo. Kasi not all of the mushrooms are safe. And the to they have also the tofu and the uh, soybeans. And as about with the seafood, they have the fresh and the dried, the pork and poultry, the onions, garlic and spring onions, and the ginger sizes, the rice wine, the rice vinegar and the tea so yan yung mga most um, commonly foods used throughout the cuisine in the china so yan yung mga commonly ano na ginagamit okay so kung makikita nyo, some of uh, kumbaga tulad din dito sa pilipinas dito sa atin ano na ganyan din yung mga ginagamit the most commonly used here naman in philippines ano And uh, how about the cooking methods? So the most well-known well -known Chinese cooking method is chow or the stirring fry, stir frying. So they call it chow I know, for stir fr or stir frying. It preserves the texture of food and retains the valuable nutrients. That is their cooking methods. And these are the supplementary or term, supplementary term or terminologies. So, the chow cooking technique known as stir frying. Congee rice, ayan, or millet or barley. 
So, ang congee rice, rice, I mean, so, uh, dito sa atin ay lugaw. Ano, dito sa Pilipinas. Yan. A porridge served for breakfast to babies and to the ill people. So, usually, dito ganyan din sa atin sa Pilipinas, di ba? Pag may mga, mas, may mga sakit, ano, ill people, ill person, kapag masama ang pakiramdam mo, So, siyempre, dahil hindi ka makakain ng hard, yung mga hard hard foods, like meat, she, uh, mga romi, uh, I mean the meats, the pork, o ano naman. So, ang pinapakain sa atin ay the congee rice, ano yung lugaw. Kasi siya ay bisabaw na and then uh, yung rice ay luto o malambot. So, that is easy to, easy to swallow. Ano. And the dim sum, ayan, very known dito sa atin, ano, and uh, alam na alam na natin pag sinabing dim, dim sum, it is a snack foods eaten for a lunch or anytime throughout the day, ano, any time of the day, pwedeng kainin, kainin ang dim sum. Hyacin, ayan, it is a sweet and spicy sauce made from? Soybeans, used in cooking, marinades, and dips. Uh, masarap itong hyacin na to. Ang sarap-sarap niya sa pang marinades. Yung mga dip sauces, yan. Lalo na kapag ikaw ay may mga lulutuin. Yan. It is made from soybeans. Yan. And the tofu, yan. Tofu soybean curd is a cheese-like substance made from soybeans, a complete protein. And the chai fan, protein vegetable served with rice. Uh, we call it sometimes a Chow pan. Ano? Yao chow pan. And the work a pan, walk, sorry, walk a pan with sloping slides and a rounded button around to stir frying and other cooking methods. So these are some of the supplementary uh, or the culinary terms in China. So madami pa iyon. So I just choose the sum lang. I choose sum. And the And the yin-yang complex philosophy that affects food, art, and other aspects of Chinese, this will combining opposites. Parang ito ay nakapi yata. Sorry, ha? Skip na natin yun. Ayan. And let us now move to Taiwan. Ano naman ang meron sa Taiwan? Ayan. Sa Taiwan, uh, the island of Taiwan is separated from mainland, mainland uh, China by the narrow Formosa Strait. It has a tropical climate with rainy season during southwest monsoon. Cloudiness is persistent and extensive all the year. The eastern two thirds of the land are mostly rugged uh, mountains, and uh, the flat, gently rolling plains are the west. The agricultural products are so. Ito yung mga agricultural nila na products. So they have the rice, the corn, the vegetables, pine apple, and other fruits. Fruits, tea, pigs, poultry, bit, beef, I mean, milk, shrimp, and fish. So, yan yung mga agricultural, agricultural products in Taiwan. And the food processing is a majority industry. And the most Taiwanese are a mixture of Buddhist. So, uh, Buddhist, Confucian, Compu, uh, sorry, Confucian, and Taoist. So, meaning 93%. 93% are mixed of the Buddhist, the Confucian, and the Taoist. And the Christians is just only 4.5%. And others are 2.5%. So meaning to say na halu-halu din ang religion pagdating sa Taiwan. Okay? So akala natin walang Christians sa, sa ibang bansa. Ano? So hindi pala. So meaning to say they have a poor point. 5% and others are 2.5 but the majority is 95% for uh, for the uh, following uh, for for the Buddhist Confucian and Taoist and the Thai, how about the Taiwan's cuisine so partly influenced by the Japanese so uh, may influence ng Japanese pero hindi ganun ka fully and the long standing traditions of indigenous tribes ano yung mga lumang tao in the area and the Hakka people. So those are the the sinaunang tao. 
And the Taiwanese dishes descri describe its simplicity in terms of presentation and the surprisingly complex taste. And the Taiwans are the simpler and make use of what is readily available. So, simple lang sila. Kung ano yung, they use the localization. Kung ano lang yung available in, in the lo local, local market, or kung anong available sa kanilang uh, uh, bakuran. So, yun yung ginagamit nila. So, this simplicity is aesthetics, is the balance by the complex of flavors that are a product of the different seasonings and spices taken from different cultures, such as soybean, black beans, rice wine, sesame oil, pickles, chili, mustard, and the parsley. Traditional meals are mostly uh, seafood and fish-based, owing to the vast coastal waters surrounding the country. And this is paired with the steamed rice and cooked very quickly in order to save energy. So, yeah. And other meats such as pork chicken are also consumed, although some regions have uh, reservations or doubts about eating beef. Ayan. Kasi because they are have, ayan, pag may, uh, they, they, they having doubt. And because, because of the Buddhist reverence uh, or respect for the animal that they depend on for agriculture. Kasi nga, di ba na, na discuss natin in the recent or nung nakaraan, the last meeting natin, uh, hindi sila ganon, uh, hindi sila ganon kafan and eating of any kind of animal because they respect uh, the lives of animal. Kung baga may paniniwala sila na uh, hindi, kung baga ay, ayaw nilang pumatay ng animal kasi nga parang pinapahalagahan they give honor to the life of animals. Ano? So that's why, ano lang, ang kain nila more on agricultural products. Ano? Kung ano nila ang yung mga nasa paligid nila. Okay? And the Taiwanese foods is simple, simple cuisine, which makes the best use of the limited resources in Taiwan. Kasi nga, di ba, sabi nga natin kanina, kung ano yung readily available, so yun yung kanilang ginagamit in making dishes. Ano? And the fish and fish and seafood make up the main source of uh, protein in the Taiwanese diet, while rice is sometimes supplemented with the sweet potato or taro roots. And meals are generally cooked quickly and all at once to conserve energy. Also, fish is the most popular meat. Chicken is also used with beef, pork, and lamb being less popular due to cost. Costly nga naman kasi ang beef, lalo na yung lamb. Yan. Yung medyo mahal na mga uri ng uh, karne. Oo. Mahal sila. Unlike sa pork, medyo mura-mura. But these days, ngayong panahon ng uh, uh, ngayon, October, parang nagtaas ang, um, ang uh, presyo ng karne, di ba? Ng karne sa market. So, nagtaas siya. Dito sa Lokban, 280. Diyan yata sa inyo, 260 yata. And sa Manila, hindi naman ganun kamahal. Parang 200 yata. to something. 200 plus something. So, bakit? Bakit na mahal ang ano? Because of the AS, uh, yung African swine flu. Ano? So, uh, kailangan ay careful tayo. Kasi from the recent news, kung narinig nyo, Ang daming, uh, ang daming mga uh, mga magbababoy uh, na nahawahan ang kanilang alaga ng uh, ASF. Ayan. Kaya umunti ang supply ng, ng uh, baboy. Okay. Moving on. So the popular fruits and vegetables include sweet potatoes, pineapple, taro roots, bitter melon, black beans, pickled radishes, peanuts, chili peppers, parsley, and the basil. So, these are the some of examples. Ano? So, very simple lang nga sila, di ba? Okay, in uh, how about, uh, these are the example kung paano magluto. So, the three cups chicken. So, ito, ito yun. The three cups chicken. So, they, they, we, we ha they need to have a chicken leg. Dalawa with bone, of course. Ito yung uh, sa may leg quarter part. The Thai basil, the garlic, and 
the chili, the chili, and um, then uh, ginger, and the seasoning seasonings nila usually they use the the uh, soy sauce, the cooking wine, and the sugar. Ayan. Ito yung Taiwanese or Asian style. Pagdating sa seasoning, try nyo to. Masarap to yung soy sauce. Any kind of soy sauce, any kind of brand will do. The cooking wine. Ayan. The cooking wine and the sugar. So, equally divided, equally uh, mesh, uh, equally yung kanilang uh, measure ano, sa seasoning. Para siyempre, same lang yung lasa. Ano, hindi nag-aagawan. And these are the uh, preparations. Ayan. Grab the big saucepan by start cooking and the chicken till it's golden brown. Add the garlic and ginger chili and all of the seasonings and stir well. Cook it with the juice is till the juice is thick kapag lumapot na and then reduce. Add basil. Laging uh, yung basil on, uh, kumbaga lagi siyang sa pahuli para yung halimuyak niya, yung bango niya, ay uh, ma, ma, ma-retain dun sa niluluto mo. And then serve with the steamed rice. Yan. So that is the popular chicken dish in Chinese cuisine in China and Taiwan. And the dish originated from Jiang, uh, Jiangxi province of southern China and a specialty of Ningdu. Its name literally translates as the three cup chicken, referring to the sauce used for it. So that is why kitinawag na three cup chicken because of the three part cup. Yun sa seasoning, di ba sabi ko nga, dapat equally or dapat sila ay same, same ang measuring. Kung three part cup of of uh, the soy sauce, three part cup of the cooking wine, and the uh, three part cup of the uh, sugar. Yan. Ito yung seasoning nila. So, try nyo yan sa bahay. Ito mismo three cups chicken. Kasi konti lang naman yung yung mga ingredients. So, wala lang tayo ay yung Thai basil. Thai basil. Pero kung meron kayo halimbawa Uh, may tanim kayo dyan sa ano, kung kayo ay one of the plantitas na din, pero yung tinatanim nyo is mga herbs and spices, much better. Ako kasi ay, ngayon ay nagtatanim ako ng, meron akong mint, meron akong, uh, meron akong ano ito, oregano, meron akong basil. So, yun yung mga tanim ko kasi nga, para sa ating international cuisine, magagamit ko siya. One of these months or sa is, One of these days, ano, pagluluto natin. So, meron na akong ingredients na makukuha ko dyan sa labas lang ng aking bahay. Do, diba? So, sabi nga natin ko ano lang, parang tulad sa Taiwan, sabi nga nila, uh, kung ano lang yung readily available. So, yun yung gagamitin. Well, anyway. So, you, you could try this three cup chicken. Matry ko nga ito kung, kung gaano kasarap ang uh, Taiwan dish nila. Ano? And... Uh, The dish derives its name from the three cup of sauces required for each chicken, a cup each of soy sauce, the rice wine, usually uh, the mihualdo. It may be mixed with the shaoshengji and the sesame oil are added. So, kung may sesame oil kayo dyan sa bahay, so usually in the Chinese cuisine, lagi silang may, they used always, uh, they used Sesame oil. And the uh, Lin uh, Zhang Kwan, a famous chef in Taiwan, believes that the traditional recipe called for a cup, uh, cup each of soy sauce, sesame oil, and sugar with other added, I mean, added ginger and basil. So, yan yun sabi ng isang famous chef in Taiwan. And the chicken together with the sauces is cooked in an earthenware pot. So, yung earthenware part, kung wala naman tayo noon, ay kahit ano na lang pat na meron tayo. Ano? On a high heat for 10 minutes only. And then, uh, after after that, make it in a low far, ano? low heat, to allow the sauces to be absorbed by the meat. Kasi kapag malakas yung apoy mo, para bang, uh, ang, uh, hindi, hindi, para bang pinilit mo na lutuin yung meat ano yung bang pinilit. So, yung juice niya, hindi ganun lumalabas. Pero, 
kapag niluto mo siya in a very low heat fire, so ibig sabihin, yung juice ng meat mo, o kaya yung sauces, I mean the sauces, ay naabsorb agad ng meat. Kasi pag pilit, parang di ba pag, pag pinilit mo, hindi ganun siya kasarap. Ano? The dish is usually served in its cooking pot when the sauce has 80 to 90% reduced. San Beiji is that it is served with no sauce. That is, the dish is cooked until the sauce evaporates and it uh, is absorbed by the chicken. When it is served at the table, the chicken uh, should be sizzler when popping and on the cusp of burning. And this gives the chicken a crisper texture, a richer flavor, unlike most of other Chinese or Taiwanese stewed dishes. The dish is then eaten with Uh, either steam rice or the rice congee. So, yan. Pwedeng kainin siya ng may kanin. Yung ating nga nilutong rice o kaya ay rice congee. Yung lugaw. Okay. Other meats such as pork or frog can be substituted for chicken in this dish without detracting from the taste. So, pwede ang pork or Frog. Yung frog naman, yung bang frog na may nakakaing frog na ano, uh, yung malinis na frog, yung galing ba yun sa ano, palayan ba yun? Yan, pwede yun. Yung mga, tama, di ba? Yung merong nakakain na frog na... Oh, oh, lasang, lasang chicken daw po ang ano, oh, palakang, di pa, palakang palayan. Yes, oo, yun nga. Tapos malaki, uh, ma, uh, ang tawag dito, Napapanood ko na ngayon sa TV, kaya lang hindi pa ako nakakatry noong kumain at hindi pa ako nabibigyan ng chance para kumain ng mga exotic food. Ayan. Bilong naman siya sa exotic food. Ano, ayan. So, hindi pa ako nakakatry. Pag may pagkakataon, tatry ko nga kung gaano kasarap yung frog na yan. Pero hindi siya etchuserang frog, di ba? Ayan. Okay, let us now move to Japan. So, since we have already discussed the China, the Taiwan, let us now move to Japan naman. So, ano ba ang meron dito sa Japan? So, we are very curious sa kaminsan. We, uh, we always uh, used to copy the uh, cuisine of Japan. ba? Diba? Dito sa at, uh, yung, kumbaga yung, anong tao, sushi, yan. Kinakopy ng mga Pinoy. Diba? So in Japan naman, the early descendants from Japan, uh, Japan, Mom Asia, primarily primarily from China and Korea, these inhabitants were hunters and gatherers. Living of the animals and plants native to the islands around 300 BC, an agricultural society developed and the Ch Japanese began growing rice and irrigating the farmland. The strongest influence on Japan, however, came from the Chinese between 400 and 800 AD or after that. In the late 13th century, the Marco Polo discovered Japan. So, si Marco Polo pala nakadiscover sa Japan. But larger numbers of Europeans and did not arrive until the middle of the 1500s. At the time, the Portuguese introduced Uh, the technique of buttering and deep frying foods to the Japanese through their light, simple style of cookery and emphasis on the natural flavors of the food, the Japanese adopted this cooking technique and developed tempura. So, yan. Kaya, yan yung kaunahan nilang dish. Ano? Nasumikat. Nasumikat. It consists of an incredibly uh, light batter that de delicately coats vegetables, seafood, and or meat for deep frying. So, yan. And about a hundred years ago, the Japanese diet contained no meat. Yeah, no meat. And the protein basis of the diet revolved around seafood and soybeans, particularly the versatile soybean curd called, we called it the famous tofu. And today's Japan's economy remains very strong. And people enjoy the high standard of living. Um, with the time changing, the fast food, uh, the fast food and chain restaurants now flourish in the cities of Japan. 
the traditional diet and style of eating that it was so indicative of Japan's past culinary heritage has changed for many of the younger generation. So, nababago, di ba? And some feel increased protein consumption, particularly the red meat. Uh -oh. And might be responsible for the rise of heart diseases or disease and certain types of cancer that were almost non-existent in Japan in the past. Kasi nga, dahil nga, uh, ang uso lang, the protein basis before their diet is just the, the seafood, the soy bean, and uh, they called it the tofu nga. And then time passes by. Siyempre, nababago ang uh, panahon. So, uh, ang tao ay nag-explore. Uh, Siyempre, nagbibigay o uh, yun pa rin yung basehan nila. Pero they, they add something or they, they mix or they put something na bago. So, yan. Ngayon ay uh, yung mga, ano tawag dito, yung mga meat nila, di ba? Yun ang mga lagi nilang kinakain, yung, raw meat, yung red meat. Ano? So, doon naman yung, yun naman yung mga nahumaling sila sa pagkain ng uh, red meat. Tapos, hindi pa masyadong luto o hindi masyado nila niluluto. Kasi, uh, yun yung nakasanay na nila. And, uh, of course, syempre, nababago nga ang panahon, uh, they add something. So, yan. And now, in Korea, in Korea, the first people in Korea came from areas in the north and northwest about, about 5,000 years ago. In 20, uh, ano ba to? 2,333 BC, yan, the Korean state was established and the Chinese moved into the northern part of Korea in 108 BC and seized control. On this, the new land, on this new land, the Chinese introduced Buddhism and Confucianism in the 8th century, which Koreans adopted. And from the 1392 to 1910, the Yi Dynasty ruled Korea while sustaining numerous invasions from the Chinese and the Japanese. And during that time, a stringent class system developed. With the four distinct classes of people, great differences existed between the cooking of the royalty and that of the common people. And the aristocracy enjoyed refined cookery using a large number of ingredients, many spices, com complex cooking procedures, and elaborate table settings. And the common people ate simple foods with simple preparation. So time passes by nga nababago na nababago from simple to from simplest, simple, and then naging uh, uh, ano tawag dito? Refined na. Naging uh, complex na, iba't iba na. Kung baga ay dati simple lang ang pagluluto, kaunti lang ang ingredients, but time passes by, naging large number of ingredients na ang ginagamit. Many spices. Ano, many spices. And then, madaming procedures. Di ba pag nagluto, uh, kung maaalala nyo kung kayo nanonood ng mga Koreans, ano, yung lalo na yung mga, may mga pagluluto, di ba? Ang, ang dami nilang cooking procedures na ginagawa, di ba? And, uh, and the table settings, ano, punong-puno yung table nila. Ano, so yan, ganyan talaga sa ibang bansa. And the common people ate simple foods with simple preparations. But today, hindi na. Iba, iba na sa ngayon. Okay? Siyempre, kapag maganda ang table settings mo, ang table setups mo, setup mo, and then um, ang sasarap pa ng food mo, so mas nagiging very comfortable at saka mas nagiging iba, kung feel, iba yung feeling mo pag, pag maganda ang pagkakasetup, pati yung pagkakaluto. So, ganon. Okay, naghang ang aking... Ayan. Okay, the Portuguese introduced the hot the Portuguese introduced the hot chili peppers. So, Portuguese ang nag-introduce ng hot chili peppers to Korea. That was 1500s. At ang cuisine nila, it is changed from from St. Paul and it changed to dramatically. Ayan, medyo madrama daw. Ibig sabihin na dramatically, na, na, naiba na. 
mas yun nga yung tulad ng kinuwento ko kanina sa inyo, uh, from simplest, naging na siyang complex. Uh, madami na, masyado na maganda. Kung baga, uh, binabatay lang nila sa, ang luto nila, o uh, ang setup nila sa luto. So, they, they, that's why it changed dramatically. And during that period, in the 19th and 17th to 19th centuries, no foreigners are allowed into Korea. And the country remains free from intruders or the trespassers for a couple of hundred years. So, yan. Hindi sila nagpapasok ng maraming, panaho, maraming taon. And the Korea continued as an agricultural-based society until the Japanese took control in, the, in 1910, when the Korea became a Japanese colony. And then the Japan rules lasted 35 years until the World War II in the 1945. And that time, the country was divided into two countries. So that's why nagkaroon ng North and uh, the South Korea. So North Korea was being set was was set up as a communist society under the control of Soviet Union. And then while the South Korea was established as democracy. So magkaiba. So that's why the one country divide uh, a two country that's why it is divided uh into two countries na. So naging South and North. Okay? So, I know naman all of you are mahilig ma manood ng Korean novela. So, maybe maybe yung mga Korean novela, maybe is so North or a South movie or film. So, yan. So, hindi na natin masyado elaborate kasi you already know yung, yung mga the cultural ways of the North and and, and the South Korea and uh, the Japanese, ano, yan, yeah, in Taiwan. So, they're just like same and uh yung mga ingredients the commonly ingredients that they have been <clears throat> used okay let us now move to the ingredients and commonly food foods commonly used throughout the cuisines of japan and korea so uh many varieties of seaweed so have you been uh taste or eaten a seaweed okay to masarap tong seaweed na ito and the seafood include all, including all sorts of shellfish like, yeah, ito yung mga squid, crab, tuna, uh, bonito, mackerel, trout, and sardines. Yeah. And the popular naman sa kanila, it's beef sa Korea. And they have also the tofu, the rice, the cabbage, Chinese cabbage and radishes, the pickled vegetables, the kimchi in Korea. Mandarin, oranges, apples, um, pears, and strawberries. They have also the soybeans and soybeans, soybean paste. Uh, we call that miso, Japan, and juanjang in Korea. And the ginger, ginger or scallions and garlic, the rice wine, sake and mandarin, the rice vinegar, and the tea. So those are the most commonly uh, used throughout the cuisine in Japan and in Korea. So the cooking methods of those countries, the Japanese and Koreans are a variety, uh, use a variety of cooking methods include steaming. So ito lang yung mga ginagamit nila, steaming, boiling, grilling, stir, frying, or we call it sauteing. And they use also the deep frying. Um, itong mga to. And, uh, and the steaming emphasizes the natural flavors of the food. Yes, nilalabas na kasi pag ini-steam mo ang any kind of foods yan, lumalabas yung natural flavors ng pagkain. And they uh, they remove and eat the ingredients as soon as they are cooked. Pagkalutong pagkaluto, they they eat ano, ensuring that the food maintains its fresh and quality, the texture and the flavor. Syempre ganun naman talaga, 'di ba? Pag tayo nagluto, lalo na mainit, di ba? So, we want to eat that immediately kasi para ma-retain o ma-maintain natin habang while we eating, we we eat the, the we eat that uh, the freshness, the quality, the texture, and the flavor. Once na lumamig na kasi, so nalilesen, di ba? Mas magasarap kumain kapag ang pagkain ay bagong luto or mainit. And of course, they have the noodle rice. So, yan. Noodle rice. Added to the flavorful broth to absorb it. And then, uh, Korean cuts, chops, and slices are the finely. Yan. 
And the beef preparations usually includes tenderizing the meat by pounding, slicing it thinly, and then marinating it before cooking. They always use that. They marinate the uh, uh, they marinate muna ng uh, halimbawa ay mamarinate nila yung beef or pork. Yan. Then they cut it or slice it thinly, maliit, uh, I mean not maliit, manipis, ano, bago nila lutuin. So, yan. And then the famous one, the kimchi, a pickled cabbage or other vegetable mixture is served with every meal. So, yan. And the supplementary term, the culinary terms, kimchi, that is well-known staple in Korea, Korean table. Uh, itong kimchi ito, fermented cabbage, also prepared, prepared from radishes, cucumbers, and other vegetables. Bulgogi. So, itong bulgogi, marinated strips of beef grilled at the table, and, uh, and this is popular in Korea, the bulgogi. Dashi. So, in Japanese, dashi, Japanese stock. Yon, stock. That is made uh, from dried bonito and dried kelp. Juenjang. Ito yung nabanggit natin kanina. A juenjang bean paste in Korean. Katsuo. Dried bonito shavings. Bonito is a fish in a mackerel family. Kombu. Dried kelp. That is a seaweed. And the mirin. So, yan. Uh, uh, narinig na natin to. Marine Japanese, a sweet rice wine used for cooking. So, yan. It is a rice wine. Miso, fermented bean paste, used for, as a flavoring for soups or sauces. Japanese, uh, na, na, uh, nabemono one or na, nabemono one. Pot cookery common in Japan, similar to fondue. Dinners. Diners cook with their own food in a pot of stock heating on a dining table. The panchan, condiments, that is a fickles and salad served with Korean meals. Ponzu, it is a dipping sauce. And the sake, Japanese rice wine, served warm in the winter. Ayan. Sashimi, it is a raw fish Sliced thinly accompanied by wasabi. Soba, a noodle made from buckwheat. Soju, Korean distilled grain liquor. Yan. Ito, sikat na sikat to sa Pilipinas ang soju. Sushi raw fish. Tempura, an individual food items coated with a very light butter and deep fried. A well-known Japanese dish. And the tofu soybean curd. Yan, a protein food. And udon. Yan, itong udon ay isang noodle which made from wheat. And the wasabi. Uh, wasabi is a very fungent and spicy, hot, green, harsh, radish, radish dipping, sour, dipping sauce served with a, as a condiment with a raw fish. So, yan. Yan yung mga, some of the... Uh, uh, supplementary terms. And uh, ito po yung some of the pictures. The Hakusai, the Chinese cabbage. So popular ito sa many parts of China and uh, the Korea. Okay? So known as uh, known as Hakusai no Sokusei Kuze. Ano ba yan? Sokuse kuzuke. Yan. Which, however, is a mil milder than kimchi. So, yan. Ito naman yung komatsu na. As uh, Japanese mustard spinach. Ang sarap ng ganyan. Yan. So, mostly that komatsu na is mostly consumed in Japan, China, Taiwan, and Korea. So, that is similar to spinach. Kamukhang kamukha siya ni spinach. Ayan. So, it has uh, nutrients and vitamins. And, ayan, wala siyang pait. 
and commonly eaten raw in salads or boiled and served with soups and stew. Ayan. Ito yung isu na, the Japanese mustard. As you see, the Japan, uh, spider mustard. Yeah, Mizuna has recently become very popular as a salad leaf. Yeah. And this one is the recon. Lotus root. Parang panghilid lang natin yan, diba? Yeah, yung patola. A common in Japan and a greater Asia. Rencons. Yeah, the rencon lotus root. Adin po yung soup. Oh, kaya nga. Yeah. Yes. Ito siya, oh. Used in tempura, boiled in soup, or stewed dishes. Yan. Sa Pilipinas, yan. Sa atin ay yung patola. Diba? Sinalagyan natin ng ano nga yun, na may uh, miswa, ano, para maging siyang soup. And then we have the shishito, a small Japanese green pepper. So, yan. A very smaller variety of piman. piman. Japanese green peppers. Yan. And sa atin naman ay siling haba, ang tawag. Okay? So, these are some, an example of the Japanese cuisine. So, yan. Nakuha lang natin to sa internet. Hot tofu. Yu dofu. Ayan. O, di ba? Ang very delicious, ano? Ang mukhang ang sarap-sarap. So, yan. Yan po yung mga ingredients sa paggawa ng Japanese cuisines. Sa hot tofu. Okay? Ayan. May mirin, may sake, soy sauce, salt. Tapos, uh, tapos, tapos ay dashi kombu. Ayan. And the tofu. And these are the, the toppings. Ayan. Uh, chopped scallion, grated ginger, ayan. togarashi, yuzu kosho. Ayan. And ito siya, oh. So these are uh, the procedure and how to, to cook the dishes and the Japan dish. Ayan. So, this is the Bonita Flakes, the upper picture. Ayan. Tapos, inad na siya. Mix well with the... Mix it well and then cook for one to two minutes. Ayan. Ayan. Diba, ang daming procedure. Diba, sabi nga natin, ang daming procedure sa pagluluto. Uh, diba? So, ayan. And ta-da! Ito na siya. Yan po yung uh, uh, the tofu. Ito naman yung Korean bean sprout salad nila. Yan. Ang uh, name is the Sokju Namul. That is a simple dish made with the lightly boiled bean sprouts that makes a, for a nice mild salad against the backdrop of spicy Korean food. The bean sprouts are crunchy with a great garlicky, garlic sesame flavor and go really well with a bowl of a rice. Yan. Salad sa kanila yun. And, uh, dito sa atin, eh, ginagawa na natin siya sa into mixed vegetables. Ano? Yan bean sprout. Okay. So, in Vietnam. So, yan. It is a Southeast Asian country known for its beaches, rivers, Buddhist pagodas, and uh, the bustling sites. The ha Hanoi ang capital nila. It pays homage, homage to the nations of iconic communist era leader Ho Chi Minh via a huge marble ma ma mausoleum. Ho Chi Minh City, formerly Saigon, has a French colonial landmarks plus Vietnamese War History Museum and the Kuchi channels used by Viet Cong soldiers. So the capital is Sanoi. Uh, the currency is Vietnamese Dong. And the population nila, as of 2018, 95.54 million people. And the points of interest is the Kuchi Tunnel, Hawan Kim Lake, 
Kat Ba Island, and many more. And the government is socialist state, unitary state, communist state, one-party state. So, yan lang yung meron sila. And this is the uh, map Ayan, of the Vietnam. Okay. So, yan. Katabing bansa si Cambodia and the Thailand. So the Vietnamese cuisine encompasses the foods and beverages of Vietnam and the features of a combination of five fundamental tastes in overall meals. So the Vietnamese dish has been a distinctive flavor which reflects one or more of the elements common. And the common ingredients uh, include is the shrimp paste, the fish sauce, the bean sauce, rice, fresh herbs, fruits and vegetables and the french cuisine has also had a major influence due to the french colonization in of vietnam the vietnamese recipes use lemongrass ginger meat and the vietnamese meat uh, long coriander saigon cinnamon bird's eye chili the lime and the thai basil leaves traditional vietnamese cooking is greatly admired for its fresh ingredients and minimal use of the dairy and the oil Complementary textures and reliance on herbs and vegetables. It is also low in sugar and is almost always naturally gluten-free. As many of the dishes are made with the rice noodles, rice peppers, papers, and rice flowers instead of wheat. With a balance between meats and fresh herbs and the meats and a, a selective use of spices to reach a fine taste. Vietnamese food is considered one of the healthiest cuisines worldwide. So, yan. Hindi sila masyado sa seasoning. Ano? So, but they always use uh, yung mga, ayun, ang hilig nga nila sa lemongrass, the ginger meat. Yan. Yan yung mga uh, uh, mga ingredients that they have been used. Konti lang yung paggamit nila ng mga dairy products and oil. Very minimal. Ano? So, yeah, they all they always rely to the uh, herbs and vegetables. That's why they are healthy. That's why they called they call the healthiest cuisines worldwide. And the philosophical philosophical importance, the Vietnamese cuisines always has, has the five elements. So, which are known for its balance and each of these features and many Vietnamese dishes have included the five fundamental taste senses. So they have the spicy. So on sabi nga when, when, we, when we call it the spicy, that is from metal, the sour is the wood, the bitter is the fire, the salt is the water, and the sweet is the earth. And corresponding to the five organs, the ngutang. So five organs, we, they, they have the gallbladder, the small intestine, and the large intestine the stomach, and the urinary bladder. So those are the philosoph philosophical importance in Vietnam. And the Vietnamese dishes also includes the five types of nutrients. So ito naman yung mga nutrients, the new, new chat, the powder, the water, or mineral elements, protein, and fat. And the Vietnamese cook tried to have the five colors. So they, they have the white, the green, the yellow. White is metal, green is wood, yellow is earth, red is fire, red is fire and black is water in their dishes. The dishes in Vietnam appeal as the gastronomes, gastronomes uh, or the gastronomists via the five senses. So the food arrangement attracts the eyes. Sound come from the crisp, ingredient, crisp ingredients. The five spices are detected detected on the tongue aromatically ingredients coming mainly from herbs stimulate the nose and the some meals especially the finger foods can be perceived by touching and these are the five uh, element correspondents <clears throat> and the vietnamese cuisine is influenced by the asian principle of the five elements and the mahabuta Ayan. Ito po yung makikita nyo. Ano yung correspondence? So, uh, spices, organs, colors, senses, and nutrients. And the elements has been uh, showed in the columns. Okay? So, uh, 
skip ko na to. So, okay. The, the yin yang balance. So, the principle of the yin yang balance in the Vietnamese as a supplied in com composing a meal in the way that provides the balance that is beneficial for the body. So, yeah. They believe the yin yang. Okay? The, the principle primar primarily concerns is the heating and the cooling properties of the ingredients. Yes. And the examples are the duck meat. Yeah, duck meat. So uh, they have the seafood, the spicy foods, and the balut. Yeah, balut as in balut. Meaning the upside down egg. Yeah. Okay, how about the cultural importance? So the cultural importance of this use as the connection between the worlds of the living and the dead. Yes. Alam niyo yung ano? Yung sa mga pelikula, pag yung mga parang sa mga horror thriller type movies, yung, yung salt, they... Ano, yung ibinibilog, tapos pupunta ka sa, or you're going inside the circle, na ang ginamit na pang circle ay yung salt, kasi hindi daw doon nakakapasok yung mga bad spirits. You are protected with the salt. Ayan. Ano? So, yun. Nasa na ako. Okay. It is just to remind the new couples for, 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 uh, for, New couples of perfection and harmony of their weddings. And the food of ten uh, plays as the ancestral altar, as an offering of the dead on the special occasions, like the lunar, New Year. And the cooking and eating play an extremely important role in Vietnamese culture. And the word on, the word on to eat is included in a great number of proverbs and has a large range of se semantic extensions. Ayan. Ito yung uh, regional variations nila. So, ayan. That is uh, originally from Hanoi. Ang sarap ano, very simple. Ayan. That is uh, a fish. Ayan. Tapos may narinig siya sa you know the turmeric based sauce? Yan yung luyang dilaw dito sa atin. Yan. O di ba ang sarap sarap. Then they they include uh, some uh, shrimp paste, uh, fish sauce or patis natin, the luya, and the chili pepper. Maybe you should try this one. I think it's perfectly masarap siya. Ayan. And sometimes they use. Saffron, the most expensive uh, spice. Uh, I, yes. Herbs, sorry, sorry. Yan. Saffron, mamahalin yan eh. Okay, this one is a bankowai. Ban I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know if I pronounce it right. Yan. Crisp siya. Yan. Stuffed rice pancake, popular in Vietnam. Ba. Ban. Mean cake. Ayan. So the, the, the name refers to the loud sound the rice batter makes when it is poured into the hot skillet. It is a savory fried pancake made in a rice flour and water and turmeric powder. And uh, some common stuffings include the pork prawns, diced green onion, the mung bean, the bean sprouts. Yeah. And then it is all also served with the lettuce, mint, Thai basil, and the fish mint. Ayan, the, I don't know how I, if I am pronounce it right. The ban cut. Ayan, especially in the Vung, Vung Chao. Ta. Ayan, yan na yan. How about the cooking techniques? Okay, the cooking techniques. Mahaba pa ba? Ah, last na pala ka konti na. The cooking techniques, or oh, some of the Vietnamese uh, culinary terms. So, ito yung mga culinary, culinary terms in Vietnam. The Russian. Um, I hope I pronounce it right. The fried dishes. Uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it right, okay? 
So then I proceed to the next one. The rang, dried fried dishes without oil. The up chow, pan fried and sauteed. The chow, chow is stir frying or sauteing. Ayan po yung mga, the, some of the stir fry, stir fry or sauteing nila. They have the shao toy, the stir fry with garlic, the, the shao sao, the sauteing with lemongrass and chili peppers, the shao lan, pan searing, stir frying quickly to cook, romit. And the shao mang. Brace or saute with bamboo shoots. Ayan. Night, ano to? Night it, stuff with minced meat before cooking. Sochua, sochua ngot, a fried with sweet and sour sauce. The ko, stew, braised dishes, cocoa. Literally dried, literally dried stewed until the sauce thickens. And then they have the koti or kogung, korean, stewed with peppercorns, ginger, galangal. Now, means cooking, usually in a pot. Yeah. Namni, hamni, slow cook, kan. Broth like soup to be served over rice. Rim, simmering. Lu, boiling with water. Lu, look. Yan. Chan, blanch. Yan. Ito po yung mga some of the uh, terms in Vietnam. So they, they, they have so many terms. Just I just choose some. Yes, these are. Curry. So, have you heard the curry? Curry? Sa atin dito, curry sa kanila. So, yan. Very simple. Curry. Roti. Yan. Roasting. Soup. Yan. Chow. Konji. Bam. Sauteed mix. Yan. Kway. Haroted dishes. And the lao. Hot pot. Nung jam. Cook in a vinegar-based hot pot. Yan. Yan po yung mga some of the popular uh, terms. Ito naman yung popular Vietnamese dishes includes the, the, in the noodle soup. Miss. Ano uh, to? Mi. So, soup mi. A Chinese influence with egg noodle soup. Po or po. A noodle soup with a rich clear broth made with from a long boiling of meat and spices. Ang tawag nila ay po. Po is typically, typically uh, served in a bowls with spring onion. Yan. Ito naman yung sup soup and chow, congees. The lao. Ayan, lao. A spicy variation of the Vietnamese soup, sour soup. Assorted with vegetables, meats, seafood, and spicy herbs. And rice dishes nila, ito, the kom ka rao tom. I don't know how, if I'm correct, pronounce it right. So this is uh, rice cooked. Yan. And the wrap, wrap and rolls. Yeah, wrap and rolls. The bo bia or Vietnamese style po bia. Steer fry Jamaica. Jima, sorry, jikama. And carrots are mixed with Chinese sausage and shredded scrambled eggs. And uh, from their sandwiches and pastries, uh, they have Vietnamese style fried egg sandwich. The uplam means sunny side up. Yuan. Ban mi opla. And their meat dishes is the uh, bobe mon. Bobe Mon, seven courses of beef. It is a multi-courses meal consisting of the seven beef, beef dishes and developed during the French colonial era when the beef became more widely consumed. And they have the salad, of course, the goiga, chicken and cabbage salad. So very simple, right? And uh, that 
is the end of my topic and uh, I hope we um I hope you learned something from our uh, discussion for today about the uh, food ways of the northern China. So, hindi ko pala siya na include dito. Ano? Samahan natin. Include natin yung ano. Ayan. Ano pa nga? Uh, Ch China, Japan. Vietnam. Ayan. Okay. So, yan yung mga topics natin. Did I forget something na bansa? So, anyone? May tanong pa po ba? Klaro ba? Na-clear naman ang ating discussion for today? You may ask question now. Wala na pong question. Wala na po, ma'am. Okay. So, ipo lang question. Uh, in two minutes time, we are, we are going to discuss naman the, uh, the andragogy of TM and including principles. So, yeah. Let's take a break for two minutes only.
Hello. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hello, Ma'am Laro. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, hello again. Naririnig na ako? Yes, po, ma'am. Okay. Oh, sige, para lang kayong nanonood ng TV. Ano? Okay, so let us now continue para tayo makakain na ulit ng tanghalian, di ba ga? Tiyak kayo magluluto pa kayo. So madali lang naman itong ating i-discuss about the... Uh, Okay, welcome ulit sa ating klase for the, uh, the Andragogy of Chinese Methodology and Principles. So as we continue, last meeting, we have been discussed. Ito yung na-discuss natin. So have you <clears throat> tried ba to answer this question about the, your learn, what is your learning style? So kung na-try nyo to, yung, kung nasagutan nyo siya from from 1 to what to 15 yata ito ano so yan kung kung nasagot nyo siya at na na-analyze nyo so alam niyo na kung ano ba kayo kung anong learning styles nyo and then you 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 can try to uh, para pasagutan siya sa iba para malaman niyo din ano bang learning style ang meron yung inyong uh, halimbawa friends kaklase so, at least meron kayong idea, ano, o kaya sa mga bata, okay? So, also, we have been discussed this, uh, this learning styles like the visual learner, the kinesthetic learner, and the auditory learner. So, na-discuss natin iyan last meeting. And now, we are now moving to the, uh, the learning inventory, inventor, I mean, which is... The Kolb's Learning Inventory. Sino ba itong Kolb's na ito at ano ba ito? So itong Kolb's, the, the Kolb's Learning Inventory of Learning Styles, it describes a learning process and a style with the emphasis on the need for a learning to be grounded in experience and the importance of person being active in learning. So dito nakikita natin, kumbaga uh, sinasala natin ano ba yung learning styles at saka process na kailangan ng iyong estudyante o ng iyong learner. Ano? So, para maging active, ano ba yung mga dapat nating ibigay? Ano ba yung dapat nating i-share sa kanila or ipakita sa kanila para hindi mawala yung, yung boredom nila? Lalo na yung mga bata, they, they have a small span lang, maliit lang yung time, short time for yung span nila sa pakikinig. So yun, ba? So kahit naman even, even tayo, tayong, ta, kayo, ako, ganyan din, minsan, very short ang span ng aking ano, minsan parang na, na, na board ako, uh, kaya ay naiinip ako, ayan. So that it, that, through that, it provides the guidance in the situation where the learner learner differences play a role in the communication and the human interaction. So, dito man natin makikita ano ba yung differences about your learners and how they pre play the, the, the role, how they, they communicate and interact with the human person or sa atin. Paano makipag-interact ang, ang ating mga learners? So, yan. O, kapag sila bored na, nagtanong ka. So, sometimes, wala po akong question. Wala po akong tanong. Oo, oo, oo lang. Okay, thumbs up lang. Okay po. Ibig sabihin, means, uh, 
para lang, syempre, syempre, syempre nagtanong ka, you're a teacher. And of course, kapag teacher ka, dapat ang sagot, alam mo na. Opo, naintindihan po, even though hindi. So, gets mo na agad with the interaction and of course, the communication. So, kita mo agad ba? Ay, pag ganun ang sagot, parang ano, wala lang. Iba ngayon ang ano eh, iba ngayon yung learning styles ng mga kabataan, di ba? Uh, ang learning styles nila. Hindi sila makapag-concentrate kapag walang sound silang nakikin, naririnig. Alimbawa, nagre-review. Gusto nila ay mag uh, anong tawag doon mag-play ng music they they put some heads headphones diba to play and play music while reading reviewing sure that mas nagkakaroon sila ng interest diba so you need know, some lang isa lang sa example okay the model provides ways to gauge uh, personal inclinations toward learning and the offer and offers a clear and act actionable way to accommodate learners in learning environments and there are four main styles and most of people have preference of one or two styles ano ano ba yun so later and uh, in uk united kingdom honey and mumford in 1992 built on a david Cobb's innovative work and uh, offered a model learning preferences using a descriptions activist reflector theorist and pragmatist so ito yung nabuo nila so they innovate uh, so and this 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 is, this is their uh, learning preferences descriptions so i hope na nababasa niyo nakikita niyo yung aking slide even though it is small but try to uh, to see ano uh, Sana kita nyo. Eh, medyo blurry. And uh, this is the learning by engaging. Paano ba yung learning by engaging? So, learning from specific experiences. So, kapag na-experience mo, ibig sabihin, you are learning. Ano? Kasi nagkaroon ka ng engagement doon. Na-experience mo. That's why learning by engaging. Relating to people. When you are talking with people, even though you do not have experiences with that, but the person who, who talks to you, who tells story about, to tell story, so you imagine, ay, parang na-experience mo din, or parang na-experience mo din. So relating to people. Being sensitive to feelings and uh, people. So yan. So yon. With that, ano, so you are learning by engaging. You are putting yourself into that into that situation. Ano. And the and the other one is learning by thinking. Yung learning by thinking because you engage, you think. Diba sabi, learning from specific experiences. So nag-iisip ka. Logically analyze, you analyze ideas. Diba? Relating to people, sabi, relating to people, learning by engaging. In learning and thinking, planning systematically. Ano? nag ka na. You plan, planning systematically. You are acting on an intellectual understanding of the situation. So, ina-analyze mo siya. Diba? So, yan. So, nagigets ba? Madali lang naman siya itindihan, ba? Learning by engaging and learning by thinking. So, that is magka, magkasama siya. It is combined. Okay? So, while you engage, while you, 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 you are thinking, you are learning by doing. So, after you engage, you think, you do. Ano, gagawin mo na. Through showing your ability to get things done. Taking risks. Of course, influencing people and events through the action. So once na engage mo, someone someone is sharing you, di ba? And then you analyze and think. And then you are you want to try nagawin din yon. So you learn by doing. Because in doing, you can uh, you can uh, ang tawag dito, ma-experience mo. And 
kapag ginawa mo na, magre-reflect na. Magre-reflect na at the end. Kasi nagawa mo na, you are carefully observing before making judgments. Diba? Hindi ka magkakaroon ng judgment kung hindi mo yun nagawa at first. And you are viewing issues from different perspectives. Iba yung perspectives niya at ikaw. So you reflect. And through doing and by reflecting, you are looking for this for the meaning of things. Dahil yung dahil nagawa mo na, dahil nga na, na may nagkwento. So suma total or to sum up it, by learn by by engaging, so mm -hmm. nag-engage ka and then you think of it. And then after thinking of it, parang gusto mo na siyang i-try. Once you tried, you reflect. After you doing, you reflect. Diba? And then, that is looking for the meaning of things. Nag-a-unlock na. Nakikita mo na yung things. Diba? Nakikita mo na. Kasi nag-engage na eh. Nag-isip ka. Ginawa mo. And then you reflect. Gets? Nag-gets ba? Opo, walang nasagot. Anyway, so, ito yung sinasabi natin na how you learn. Your, how you learn and then how does it works? What, why, what it, what if? So, ito yung sinasabing what if activist? Why? Nagre-reflect, reflector. What? Theorist, you are thinking. Theorist. How does it work? How, this, how does this work? Pragmatist, you are learning by doing. Uh, what if, why, how does it, this work and what? So, madali lang, di ba? So, nagets ba, guys? Madali lang, di ba? Hello? Ay, ayaw nila sumagot. Okay, let's move on. So, uh, so, ang ibig sabihin, so, ating mas lalong pak, klaklaruhin para mas madaling maintindihan. Ano? So, activist. Yun sinabi ko kanina, it's just only an example. And, uh, and this, this activist learns by having a goal. Ano? Having a goal, they perceive information concretely and process it actively. They integrate experience and application. They learn by trial and error. You are taking risk, in short. They believe in self-discovery. They are enthusiastic about new things. They are adaptable. Even relish change, they excel when flexibility is needed. And they often reach accurate conclusion in the absence of logical reasoning. And they are also risk takers. They are at ease with people. They enrich uh, reliability. I am sorry, reality by taking what is and adding to it. And sometimes they are seen as manipulative and pushy. Okay, so that is why they are, their philosophy is trying anything once. So that is activist, the risk taker. And how about the reflector? The reflector learns most from active, activists, activities where they can watch, listen, and then review what was happened, what was or what has happened. They perceive information concretely and process it reflectively. They integrate experience with the self. They learn by listening and sharing ideas. They are imaginative thinkers who believe in their own experience and they excel in viewing direct uh, experience from many perspectives and they value insightful thinking. They work for harmony. They need to be personally involved, seek commitment, and interested in people and culture. They are thoughtful people who enjoy observing others. They absorb reality. They seem to take in the atmosphere almost like osmosis. So their philosophy is to be cautious, to consider all possible angles and implications before making a move. I need more information. So that is reflector. You are reflectoring, ano, nagre-reflect. So you you want perceive, uh, 
perceive information concretely and process it reflectively. So you integrate experience with the self. Diyan. Gusto mo ay, bago ka maniwala, kailangan mo muna ma-experience. At bago ka rin maniwala, they, you, you listen and you have, and also you share ideas. Ano? You are imaginative thinkers. So yan po yung mga nagre-reflect. So nakikita nyo na ba ang sarili nyo? Theorist learns most when ideas are linked to existing theories and concept. They perceive information abstract, abstractly and process it uh, reflectively. They form theories and concepts in integrating their observations into what is known. They seek continuity. They need to know what the experts think. And they learn by thinking through ideas. They value sequential thinking. No de need details. They critic information and collect data. They are sorrow and industrious. They will re-examine the facts if situations perplex them. And they enjoy traditional classrooms. Schools are made for them. They are more interested in ideas than 10 people. And they prefer to maximize certainly and are uncomfortable, uncomfortable with subjective judgment. And their philosophy prizes rationality and logic. If if it's logical, it's good. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So now what? Yan. Nasa na ako. Theories. Pag sinabing theories, learns most when ideas are linked to existing theories and concept. Yan. They perceive information abstract, abstractly and process it reflectively. They uh, form theories and concepts and integrating their observations into what is known. They see continuity. They uh, they need what the experts thinking. I, I mean think, and they learn by thinking uh, true ideas. They value sequential uh, thinking and uh, need details. Ano yan? Ait na banggit ko na pala to, sorry. So pragmatist na pala tayo. Okay, the pragmatist learns most from learning activities that are directly relevant to their situation. Ayan. Okay, they perceive information abstractly and process it actively. Ayan. They integrate theory and practice. Yan. They learn by testing theories by apply, applying common sense. So ito yung mga pragmatist na tao. They learn by testing theories and applying the common sense. And they are pragmatist. Ano? They believe it's some, if something works, use it. Ganun naman yung iba, di ba? Or tayo. They are down to earth. Kayo ba down to earth? Down-to-earth problem solvers who resent being given answers. And they do not stand and ceremony, get, but get right, to the, get right to the point. They have a limited tolerance for fuzzy ideas. They value strategic thinking. They are skills-oriented. They experiment and tinker with things. And they need to know how things work. They edit reality. Cut right to the heart of the things, and sometimes they seem bossy, oh, and impersonal. What is their philosophy? There is always a better way. If it is works, it good. It is good. So that is pragmatist. Ikaw ba pragmatist ka ba? So uh, among I I have said, sino ka doon? Ba sino ka doon? Sino ka dito? Ikaw ba ay isang activist? Ikaw ba reflector? A pragmatist ka ba? A theorist ka ba? 
So, yan. Okay? So, may tanong ba dito? Kung wala kayong tanong, o oh, diba, nag-end agad siya? 30 minutes lang. So, uh, may tanong ba tayo, guys, dito? May tanong kayo dito, guys? Kung wala, thank you. <laughs> okay, you may unmute and you may ask questions now. Pwede kayo magtanong dun sa kahit uh, ano, tanong kayo. Ma'am, di ba po kasunod na po nito yung self-check 1.1-5? Uh, ana may meron ba akong pinost na nito? Wala pa po. Pero sa akin po din kasi papaliwanan nyo din po kung paano po yung paggawa po nito, di ba? Oo. Uh -oh. Ay, sa ano? Kinda sa yung dito. Ano? Hindi ko pa ito ipopost, but maybe later, ano, di i-remind ko, uh, i-inform ko kayo kapag nakapost na yung self-check. Okay? Kasi nagka-problema ako dun sa other self-checks eh. Ang daming access requests, kaya yon. So, try ko tong ayusin mamaya. Itong self-check. And then, I, oh yes, welcome. I will, uh, ano, alet post yung kasunod natin na uh, gagawin. Ano? So, yan. So, just wait for my um, announcement. Ano? Kasi, di ba sabi ko nga kanina sa on the... Wait lang. Ayan. Sabi ko nga kanina, di ba, ay tayo ay... Uh, Uh, activity work muna o research muna kayo on November 7. Ano, so, ang meeting na natin ay 14, but on November 7, tayo ay, meron pa din tayo sa ang tawag dito, uh, dun sa GC natin, ano. So, dun sa GC natin, we will, uh, we will meet on GC. You may ask question kung ano man yung questions nyo doon. Okay. So, if you have some queries, questions pa, you may now ask na. By the way, have you searched na kung anong gusto nyong learning outcomes or competencies yung gagawin nyo? Kung if you decided to, to go for the FBS, the cookery, the housekeeping, ano pa ba? Ay, kasi nga pala kayo food and service management. So, <clears throat> Uh, food and beverage services, cookery, yan. bread and pastry products. Ayan. Pipili kayo doon ng one competency lang. Pipili kayo doon. And then we will start na uh, for our doing a, a book. Book ng gagawin nyo. Kala nyo, ha? Ayan, hindi. Simple lang yun. Individual Simple. po yan. Individual. Yes. Individual siya. Kaya nyo yun, konti lang yun. Hindi pwedeng groupings. No, individual yan. Gano'n mo kakapal? Kahit Ay. baitos, ma'am. Kahit baitos. Gano'n mo kakapal? Gano'n kapal? Uh, singkapal na mukha ko, yun. Hindi, <laughs> konti lang yun. Kayo na may igagayt ko. Igagayt ko kayo kung paano yung gagawin. Isa-isa. Sige po, ma'am. Mm -mm. Madali lang naman yun. Sabi ko lang uh, yung mahirap para mahangal lang kayo. Ganun talaga. Mamangal na hangal na po ka. <laughs> hindi naman halot to. Ay, mm -mm. hindi po ba? <laughs> Oo, kulang pa sa hangal. Ayan, o diba ang konti lang nung andragogy, 30 minutes lang, ba diba? Katuwa, ano? Tinapos ko na agad. Pero wala talaga kayong tanong. Okay Mom. na. Ma'am. Ano? 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 Ma'am, doon po sa learning task 1.1 to 1.5 po. Sa messenger na lang po ako nagpasa. Okay. Sige. Pag di magkaige. Pwede rin naman dun, dun sa Google Classroom natin. May attachment yata doon, di ba? Ma'am, pwede, pwede din doon. Pwede post. Pwede naman. Doon, kahit doon na sa Google Classroom Salud natin. Po sa Picture po yung sinan ko. Yung sagot ah. ko. Sige, okay, no problem. Pag mga di magkaige, find ways, ano, find ways para at least hindi hindi kayo ma magkaroon ng isang missed na activities or uh, self-checks, ano. 
at least makumpleto nyo yun. Okay? So, may mga tanong pa, guys. Ma'am, yung sa, ano po, sa criteria checklist po, paano po yun? Ano yun? Teka, saan ba yun? 1.1-5 po. Yung may criteria checklist po. Yung meron pong sample data gathering po. Ah, yun sa self-check. Ah, oh, yung kanina. Yun naman ay ano lang. Ah, kayo lang nang gagawa nun. Ah, mag, ah, hindi naman kayo mag, ano, hindi kayo mag, ah, ano tawag dito, hindi naman kayo magkukuha ng isang tao o ano. Ito ay, kumbaga ay, itatry nyo lang. Itatry nyo lang. Pero hindi nyo ito gagawin. I mean, hindi nyo ito isasubmit sa akin. Ah, hindi po. Anda, oo. Ito ay, oo, example lang. Kung baga, try nyo lang gawin kung para ma-analyze nyo lang kung anong learning style ba ng magiging possible student nyo in the near future. Yun, yun lang ito. Sige po. Okay. Ano pang tanong? Kung walang tanong, magpi-picture taking na para makapagsaing na ang lahat. Ano? Okay, picture taking. Pakilabas na ang mga mukha. Labas na ang faces. Caution na ba lahat? Tika. Itatiles natin siya ng hanggang 49. Oh, wala pa yung iba. Hindi pa sila naglalabas ng face nila. Ayan. Bakit wala pa si ano? Sino ito? Si Chua. Si Bostarga. Si... Ayan, meron na. Sino pang wala? Si Penyon. Ayan. Uh, si Conchada. Yung favorite kong estudyante na laging late. Siya kasi na to. Ayan. O, kita mo. Ikaw, ba, ginawa mo akong pampatulog, kunchada, at bagong gising ka na naman. Okay, nasa, nasa na si Jona. O, Jona. Chua. Labas na. Siya kasi Salvador. Para sa picture taking, labas na kayo. War, ayan. O, si Chua Pang naman. Pag-alito pa ako kanina pa. Wala ko yan. O, labas, ilabas yung picture nyo, yung video. At magpipicture taking na tayo. Ayan, okay. Kita nyo, mga bagong gising ginawa ninyo akong pampagising at pampatulog pang hele. Grabe tong mga to. Maghilamos naman kayo at pag-toothbrush. <laughs> okay. Hoy, Jenny B, wala ka. Wala ka sa screen. I-picture na ako. Wala ka sa screen. Sa Bakit wala ako? ako? Bakit wala ako? Kanina wala. pa ako nandito. <laughs> wala ka mukha, oh. Kita sa aking ano labda. Sa anak ko. Bakit? Saka pagtampo na. Hindi ka nga makita, oh. You cannot... Ayan, o. Oh, hindi pala. Ayaw ka nga makita. Bakit na? Oh. Aba, uh, ewan ko nga sa'yo. Ipakita mo ka sa yung video, camera. Wala nga. Promise. O, oh, hala na. O, oh, kung wala ka, di wala. Oo. <laughs> oh, oh. Ate, mag-picture na tayo. Okay. Nakaduakan na pa ako naka-undig. <laughs> 
Ayan, okay, wait lang. Sesend ko lang sa messenger. Oman oh, promise. Oh, mamaya, Salvador, pipicture tayong ano. Wait lang ah, sesend ko lang. Asa kaya ako? Teka lang, maya ha. <laughs> mamaya kayo umalis. May naririnig pa ba kayong ano, yung ingay sa dito sa akin o wala naman? Wala po. Wala, wala po. Ah. Maigi naman, akala ko kasi ano, itong binili ko ay tsaka kasi sabi ta ay ano eh, noise reduction. Eh, pero wala naman kayo naririnig kanina yung sa mga ingay-ingay. Wala. Teka lang guys. Naghang naghang na yung aking laptop. Hindi ko ma-send sa GC natin. Wait lang. Bagong ligo na ba ang lahat? Naligo na? Tiyak ay hindi pa. Kahapon pa naligo. Akala ko. Ah, kahapon naligo. Ngayon, hindi. hindi. Walang Ay, problema. <laughs> Wait lang, naghahang talaga aking laptop. Oh. Sa dami daw ng pinapagawa ko, kaya... Ano, sa dami ng pinapagawa ko, ay napagod na. Kimi chani kum ping. Ang lapit naman anak. Okay, so ayan na. Isa pang picture guys, isa pa. Teka lang. Ayan. Si Salvador, Salvador Ako, talaga ayo. <laughs> Wala. Kung nandyan ako ba? Hindi ka, ta hindi ka kasali talaga. Ba't kaya ako'y nawawala? Ayan. Okay lang, yun di ka daw kasali. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, yes. Smile, guys. <laughs> Puno na ang screen. Malapad ka daw, kaya hindi ka kasali. Yun lang yun. Ayan o, oh, sinend ko na. Isasend ko. Okay, anyway, guys. Kung uh, kayo ay wala na katalungan. Okay lang yon. Thank you and God bless. Goodbye. Thank you po, ma. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you po, ma. Okay. Pede na kayo magsae. Bye po, ma. Thank you po. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Ma'am, asal lang po. Magkano po yung headphone po na gamit nyo? Ito pa, ano ay, parang naka-sale siya, binili ko yung naka-sale, parang 500 something. Saan po siya shopping, ma'am? Sa La Lazada yata to. Lazada. Ah, ano ba ba ang tatak niyan, ma'am? Baka po sakali. Ah, sige, i ano ko, inalagay ko yung, isesend ko yung link ko sa kong store binili. Sa Pinondo lang to eh, sa Manila. Ay, ayun lang, alayo po pala. Akala ko pa sa Lucena. <laughs> Hindi, dito lang. Ito yung tatak na, oh. Ah, Senda. Senda. Kim, to ka nga sa mga signal. Pero hindi ko siya <laughs> pinopromote. Kim. Oo, oh, alam po. Nag-gas lang po ako. Sige po, salamat po. Okay. Keep safe po, mga ingats. Yeah, thank you.
ਜਾ ਪਤਾ ਕੀ ਨਜ਼ਾਰਾ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ